All right, folks, uh, a couple days ago, <clears throat> I bought a uh, motorized bike for 50 bucks, and I'm gonna be trying to get it running today. All right, so here she is, uh, 50 bucks, came with a bunch of extra parts, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna try and get this thing running. All right, so just quickly looking through this thing, it looks like we have a Huffy um, Beach Cruiser, which is a Walmart bike. It's got a motor in it, obviously, and uh, the carb does not have a air filter on it, which I'll probably throw one on because I have a bunch of extra parts for these things. Um, somehow the fuel line doesn't seem to be leaking, which these things literally always leak, so that's pretty surprising. Fuel tank is mounted kind of jank, but it's on. And uh, yeah, the chain roll is pretty good, which is a very good sign. The clutch actually does work, which is nice. Chain and clutch are half the battle with these things. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get it running. First thing we're gonna check for is spark. All right, so these are really easy to check spark on. All you do is pull the plug wire off and then you throw your little spark plug wrench on it if you can fit it in the frame. Uh, once it's loose, if the head is good, you should be able to just finger loose it out, finger uh, loosen it. And uh, so you have your spark plug out, you plug it into the plug wire, and then all you need to do is make sure that it's grounded out, and then you uh, spin it over a little bit, make sure that you can see in the gap of the spark plug, and then move it to a better spot. Okay, so it looks like we have spark, which is good because then uh, I know we have compression because I've rolled it a little bit and uh, it has good compression. So then all we really have to worry about is fuel and air, which is just this little carb right here. We know it's getting fuel because there's fuel in the fuel line going straight to the carb. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and start this thing up and if it doesn't start, then we know it's a carb problem, which I think I have some extra carbs laying around. So yeah, if we throw a new carb on it, if it needs one, it should run and uh, once we get this thing driving, I'm just going to sell it for a profit because these things are not very reliable and I have other fun stuff that I can ride. So we're really just using this as a little quick flip. Should be pretty easy. I'll be able to get at least 200 bucks out of it if I have it running and driving good. I'm starting fluid with me, the bike, and a good old, good old downhill so I can focus more on trying to start it and less on pedaling. See, so I'm going to spray some starting fluid in the car while we're moving and, uh, even if we get a little pop off, that'll at least show that if we throw a carb in this thing, it'll go. All right, so I went to go try and start it and I sprayed some starting fluid in it and it popped off a little bit, which is a really good sign. So now I'm just going to run some new gas through it because maybe it's just getting bad gas. Probably spray the carb down with carb cleaner and uh, we'll see if she starts up. So I guess all she needed was some uh, fresh gas, some starting fluid, and she fucking runs mint. This is one of the best driving motorized bikes I've ever owned, and I've probably owned around 15 to 20 now. So yeah, that was a pretty good find. 50 bucks. Uh, I should be able to sell it for around 200, 250. I'll keep you guys updated on um, what I sell it for. But yeah, this thing runs pretty good, drives pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, so before I go to sell it, I'm just going to clean it up, throw an air filter on it so that it looks a little bit more neat. And uh, yeah, but that that's it for this thing. I see more small engine content like this and just other content in general with my old truck, 65 Chevy and stuff like that. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.